What do you want? Can't you see that I'm concentrating on my reading? Uh, yes. But... No buts! Just leave me in peace! Rook, the Talon Times report in detail. Hmm. You got the mice to flee. And I guess I'm safe from other visitors as well. Thanks. Now I can only hope that this cat knows where it should sharpen its claws and where it shouldn't. Are there any documents about the foundation of the town? Oh yes, they exist. Unfortunately, there are very strict orders which forbid unauthorised persons to see them. And you're not authorised, I'm afraid. Couldn't you make just one exception? You know what I mean. The mice and a favour and all that? Oh, oh no. I'm not allowed to do that, of course. We always strictly obey the orders. At least we make sure that we don't get caught if we don't do so. And the presence of certain persons might cause a substantial problem. No need to say that I can't tell you which persons I'm talking about. Hmm. Naturally, it's not easy to find someone in this crowd whose presence might be a problem. See you later. By the Talent Times! Talent... Well, boy, how can Upright Simon help you? I hope you've got enough jobs to do. Ha! You bet! I don't know whether you've heard about, but I'm sure you know Excalibur. King Arnold's sword. Uh, that guy from California? Or do you mean Arthur? King Arthur. Aye, right. This dweeb of a king has rammed his sword into a rock, and now it's stuck there and won't come out again. Can you imagine something like that? Who would ram his sword into a rock? But what has that got to do with me? Ah, a lot. Because King Arno... Arthur has sent me a messenger. In case they can't get his sword out of the rock, he ordered a new one from me. Are you listening, boy? A brand new Excalibur. As good as the old one, but with even more features. Ah, some kind of Excalibur 2.0? That's a great job indeed. I'm glad you have so much work. I'll have to be off. So long. Nice that you stopped by again. Have you heard of my amazing incense stick special yet? You can help yourself while supplies last. Do you know a means against the curse that transforms the town at night? I don't know anything about that. It must be a very old magic. That's my only explanation. Of course, I tried to find out more about it, but it only made my crystal ball fall to pieces. I won't try it again without a magic glass insurance. Do you at least know whether the curse is effective outside the town as well? I guess it is. Steve hid in the woods one night. The day after, he found lots of chopped up bushes. So you see, there's no use in running away. The curse surrounds us. Do you have incense sticks for sale? Oh, that's not all. You can even take some for free. They are all brand new flavours. You have the choice between the smells vomit, swamp stew, drowned body, or fried fish. Hmm, I guess I go for fried fish. I see you're not keen on experimenting. I wasn't much like you at your age. I had a whole lot of trips back then, and some still aren't totally over. Here, take your incense sticks. I just want to have a look around. If you want to be left alone, then simply don't talk to me.
buy the Talon Times and read the top story, King Arthur rams Excalibur in a rock. Sit down, dude. Fancy a little gambling? Of course, dude. I love gambling. But I don't have any money. What a coincidence. Me neither. Well, then forget about it. Without money, it's pointless. There's no kick to it then, you know? I bet you would really like to eat some fish. Me? Well, uh, fried fish maybe. I love that. Uh, the smell of raw fish is really disgusting though. And that's what it smells of in here. Oh, I see. I'll be off. Let's see how these things smell. I'll tell you the truth. I would only light these incense sticks if I wanted to get rid of visitors. What have you got there, dude? Are these incense sticks? Yeah, very special incense sticks. Smell them. Well. That smells disgusting. That didn't work. Mm, the more I smell them, the more I like them. Hey, it's the smell of fried fish. Oh, oh, I haven't eaten that for ages. Man, this stuff makes my mouth water. Olaf has it on the menu today. What a coincidence. Why didn't you tell me? Hey, Olaf. Fried fish for me, please. Okay, coming up. It will take a little while, but it's really fresh. Hurry up. I'm starving. First the incense sticks, now this stinking newspaper. I'll stink like fish for the rest of my life. It says, Town Hall, up in flames. The newspaper is completely crumpled. Must kill. May I ask what you are doing here? Uh, no. You're not allowed to. Get lost. It's easy to have a look inside Daphne's bedroom from where you are, right? Uh, really? Let me see. Indeed. That's astonishing. I haven't noticed that before. You should be ashamed, you peeping Tom. Uh, what are you talking about, boy? I'd never do something like that. I'm just checking the, uh, the stability of the bushes. There can be horrible accidents with branches that fall down. I see. On a credibility scale from 1 to 10, this would be at least an average 4. You've made up your own little adult theatre here in the bush. That's what it looks like to me, peeping Tom. I, uh, phew, I can't believe I'm talking about these things with a little boy. Well, you seem to be old enough for this topic. Wait, how old are you? I'm nearly 16, 
and my generation knows more about this stuff than you with your 60 years. So don't be ashamed, old man. What's the problem? I, uh, of course I don't want to sit in this bush at night. Actually, I'd rather like to go over to see Daphne. I don't think she would turn down a little tete-a-tete, -tete, but I have my reasons for not speaking to her. Tete-a-tete? -tete? That has to go wrong. What's the problem with getting closer to Daphne? I, eh... Uh... Go on. I've already made up stories in my head that no one wants to know about. The sooner I get you both together, the better. I, well, have, have certain problems in connection with my age. I mean... Ah, you need some of those famous blue pills, so you're... Shh, shh, someone could hear us. Anyways, I think we're talking about the same here. I found something interesting for you. Mmm, magic rejuvenation. You won't feel like being 20. You will be 20. Ooh la la, that's nice stuff. This stuff is probably going to be illegal soon. One more reason to order it right now. You may be right. Mm -mm. This would give me the ability for one more. Uh, I mean... <coughs> I don't want to distract you any longer. See you later. There you are again. Would you iron this newspaper for me? Well, all right. Give it to me. What do you want with such an old newspaper anyway? I, uh, need it for school. We're doing a project on the town history. Of course, I can't present a newspaper in class that's not been ironed. Oh, these teachers. Always coming up with something else. When I was young, teachers didn't expect such superfluous bells and whistles. Here's your newspaper. It says, Town Hall up in flames. The newspaper looks like new since Daphne ironed it. The Talon Times, today with detailed sports section.